random battles. 103. We've got Muck versus Tropius. Not a great start, because Muck can get rid of my threatens. Let's see. Threatens knockoff. Threatens gunk shots. We can't protect once, though. Okay, they're the knockoff kind of guy. We do have a Kyogre, which is really nice. I'm thinking we can go camera up here. Yeah, we threaten an earthquake. We can get up rocks though, which is what I really want. Also noticing we have a float soul. We've got we've got a sauce bug, not the evil one. But yeah, we can get up rocks here. Fion comes out. Let's go straight to sauce bug here. Hopefully not get burned. Okay. So they just go for that. I can sword stance here. Saucebook is pretty fast. Fion's not super threatening. I think it's a reasonable play. They stay in. It's gonna be Ice Beam. So maybe it's... Oh, please, not the freeze. Okay. I see how it is. <laughs> the freeze. Oh, that's so gross. Let's go for hypnosis here. Just put him to sleep. Give myself some breathing room. So he goes straight into Conkleder now. Yeah, that Fiona is scary. Close combat also is scary. I I could go Tropius. But that's pretty risky. I think I just want damage on this thing. And let's be real, Persian's not actually super good at beating Fion. Um, let's go into Floatzel here. Just flip. I don't want to go Kyogre yet, because I don't want to take a Mock Punch. Like that. Actually, let's go Camera up here. Because while Fiona's asleep, I do threaten a fairly strong Earthquake. Okay, and Regigigas comes out. Uh, I can just wisp this. And I can overheat it too. I don't want to go straight into Tropius because I don't want them to find a knockoff on me. Mm, okay, now I need to respect this thing more. I'm gonna sub up here. Okay. So there is a knockoff on that set, but we can get our lead C going. Slow start gone. They're gonna just spam knockoff here. Uh, we can go camera up. Now we're gonna take a double edge here. Yeah. But now. Does Water Spite really only do that much? No. It's not accounting for rain. I think we have to go Tropius here. Just accept that we're going to lose our Citrus Berry. Why am I losing again? How about that? The fact that this is sleep is pretty about obnoxious. Okay. We also have Leech Seed healing forever. This might be a, a bit of a grind now. That Fiona is the big problem in the back. The question really is going to be will I be able to overwhelm Fiona with Kyogre and Floatzel? Okay, they go for the double edge. Gonna go to sleep now, I think. Yep, because why would you not? Let's get a sub up. It's a bit of insurance from Double Edge. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know why I take that. And we'll sub again, because I think you're gonna go right back to sleep. <laughs> yep. I'm 
Now, knockoff does not break sub. So there's only one in three chance they break sub here. Yikes. That's pretty good for me. Now this is gameplay. And <laughs> I think I know what they're going to do. Yep. Isn't this fascinating to watch? And now I go back into my sub. One in three chance they do massive damage, but still I like, get to hide around. If they ever hit me low, I start protecting. And <laughs> they're just done now. Okay. Honchkirk comes out. I mean, I guess I can just leech seed. They missed the heat wave. I missed my leech seed, though. Try again. Protect up here. I'm wondering if Terra Steel now is to play. I think I'm gonna go for it. The U turn out. Okay, I get my sub back up at least. Yeah, I'm going for the new strategy of wear everything down and be really obnoxious with Tropius. And hopefully that'll open up the water duo. Yep, so now we leech seed into Fion. Okay, they wake up immediately, they take heart. And I think I just immediately start air slashing into it. As I go into Regis now. Huh. So is this Fionn not rest talk? Oh, and this thing is slow start again, so it dies. Nice. Okay, now we... Okay, we missed the leech seed there. We can just go for it again now. Go for a sub here first. Okay, they're just committing to the drain punch. I'll blame them. But I can sub protect it for a while. Unfortunately, they're not taking too much damage cumulatively. Okay, finally something else comes out. It's gonna be Preserker, who I can protect against first. Okay, close combat comes out. We will sub on that. Make them lower their own defenses. As a U-turn out, so we're now be back behind a sub. Oh my goodness. Even without the Citrus Ray, this Tropius is just... absurd. Okay, Heat Wave comes in. Leech Seed misses again. Protect here first. Yes, yeah, so I go for Brave for it, actually. I'm gonna Leech Seed here. Okay. I've entered the end game, I believe. Sucker Punch would just kill Float Soul. And this guy has, is always going to have Sucker Punch. It means I have to... Um, Origin Pulse here. Oh, it's just, it's just actually not going to punch me. Okay. Okay, I need to go Float Soul here. And they have Grass Knot, though. So here's what I'm thinking. Their best place to keep Fionn healthy, because otherwise Kyra gets out of control. So I'm going to flip turn, and apparently I made the wrong call. Okay, I guess I just thunder here. Okay, they go to her grass. That's gonna be it. After all that suffering. Is this game one? What is this? Yeah, Fion dies, but the rest of the team is not unhealthy enough. Uh, what was that? Is that game one? That was game one? That was so long. That was awful. 
And I, I know I'm largely responsible for that, but that's how you have to play Tropius if you're playing to win. That's just how Tropius is built. And so game one, I don't even know how long that took. It was a while. Hopefully we can have some more reasonable games here. Okay, into Volcarona. This is a good start because this thing does not hit armors very hard, but I can hit quite hard myself. We've got Toxic Salazzle. The Filet Away Veluza, which I prefer. Okay, we've got some good Pokemon here. Let's see if we can put them together. Okay, Mighty Anna is probably looking at a Soul Fest if this is switching in. Yeah. Let's have a couple options here. I'm thinking Zeb Striker. We don't switch into Mighty Anna super well. But that goes alright. Um, we've got a Supercell Slam here. If they have a ground type, they have a ground type. They have a ground type. We have Overheat though. So I can at least get some good damage off here. Back into my Nina. That's alright. Um, who do I want to go in though? Let's go Salazzle here. Just Flamethrower. So Torterra is still a threat here, if it comes in. Oranguru though comes out instead. I'm gonna go to Arm Rouge on this. Yeah, because I figured we can take that pretty well. And we just launch an armor cannon off. Good damage. Hyperforce does take me out. Now I promise this thing probably has like Thunderbolts or Dark Vo Dark Pulse or something like that. So I think it is going to be Reggie Drago time. Because Flamethrower is not strong enough from Salazzle. So let's go Reggie Drago here. Give them some energy. Cobalion comes out. Annihilate's pretty good into that. Get Torchair instead, though. I'm gonna bulk up once. Lump Shell Smash. Now I live anything here, I'm gonna rest. They Shell Smash again. Which is... Certainly a play. I think we just Rage Fist. Oh, Terra Ground had Long Rush, though. It's too much. I didn't think they'd just go for another attack like that, but I guess it, I guess they didn't have enough threat against them. We have to go to Salazza now. Go Protect first. Okay, Rock Blast. I have... Actually, I think I live this still. Oh, no. Not with crit, especially. Um, well. Torterra does it. That's a bummer. Because that thing had a really easy time setting up on me. I did not have quite the threats I wanted out there, I guess. I guess, uh, should I have gone for another bulk up on Annihilate then? I don't know, that's hard. Being hard, this is not a good lead. Bramble Gas in the Basque Legion? No, sir. We don't have a switch in for the Poltergeist, so that's gonna be free damage. Go for the power up, though. So that's something. Let's go for a Sludge Bomb here. We're actually. Yeah, it's fine. We'll protect once. So they go for the knockoff. 
I want a Toxic Hypno. So we can just start racking up damage on him. Go Oopsie now. So it's a good knockoff from them. And... Mm -mm, just got a U-turn here. Go back into Swallow. So I can protect again. Actually, that's pretty predictable though. We got Toxic again. Okay, we find Stone Journer, so that's nice. And I'm just gonna protect here. Yeah, they get their rocks, so unfortunately that does not work out for me. Now I don't have a switch in for rock moves either. Do I have a switch in for any moves? It's not, not really feeling like I do. Um, we'll just take it then. Oh, we actually lived. Nice. So I can protect again. And now we will go down with Stone Journer. We can, might as well protect again. Will we get it? Okay, it's Wallet. Wallet is putting in work. And I'll take it. I need all the help I can get right now. And I think we... I think Swallow's not enough. We can lay it to rest. So I'll just launch off a Psychic Noise here. And the Encores me into that. Let's see if they have a Dark type. It says he misclicked, so maybe that was not the plan. Probopass comes out. I can continue Psychic Noising this. Not really forced to switch by anything. Now Bramble Ghast. Again, I can't switch in on this, so I just have to take it. Am I at the point where I need to Terra? Yeah, I think I need to Terra to get rid of this Bramble Gas. I'm gonna Terra Fire. Because we also have another Ghost Type, so losing the Ghost Typing isn't hugely impactful. Now, does Pro Pass take this? Oh, it's AV. It sure does. Let's go to Basky Legion then. As they Volt out. Mm, yeah, that's kind of predictable, I suppose. And Bramble Ghast is back. I mean, no, so I still don't have a switch in. So I just kind of have to take Abuse here. Fire Blast again, though. Okay, Hypno. I'm gonna Calm Mind here. Oh, Power Jump still is that much? Come on, man. It's looking like a losing to Bramble Gas immediately kind of game, huh? It also just can't get any damage or chip on it. It's just alive forever. Oh man. Not a huge fan of this team. Feels like it just did not have any staying power. Although, I mean, they don't have recovery either, but their offenses were working out a lot better. Yeah, and I can't do anything here. All I can do is try to stall out grassy terrain, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah, they get the grassy I mean, It doesn't, again, this is just... This is all for show. Oh, and three, is that what? Come on, bro. <laughs> I don't know what I could have done against Bramblegast, to be honest. I didn't have any fast setup. I think my entire team actually was slower than it. Nothing could wall it. Like, I think no matter what I do there, I'm going to lose to Bramblegast. So I'm not sure what the answer was. Anyway, what are we working here? I'm trying to get something off the keyboard. We've got another Grass Ghost type. But we have a Rapska, and we have an, our own Bramblegast. I think I like Crab in here. Because we don't take much damage or anything if we launch an Ice Hammer off. Get 
Can we do mammoth swine? We'll take it all right since that's dick fat. But I can drain punch now. Okay, Ampharos comes in. Worst you could do is focus blast me. Mm-hmm. Kinda want swallowed in. Why wow, they just thunderbolt? Okay. And that was specs. Right? Yeah. Um, decent chance I just die here, but I may as well try to get my T-Spike up. Oh wait, I'm faster. Whoops. Okay, well I can for sure um, get some damage off here then. And who should be sent in? Let's go screw Greninja. Let's think it's the safest play here. They go to Polyrats though, so that's gonna shut down Greninja for now. I'll go Grimmsnarl on that. Okay, knock off whatever. I can Spear Break. If they stay in, they die. And if they switch us, got a Parting Shot. Okay, Mammoth Swine back in. It's Parting Shot out to Rapska. Reason being is that it's not going to take much damage from much. And they'd forfeit, okay. They're, they don't want to deal with it. Alright. Finally get a win there. And we'll do one more, then I'll call it. Now one thing I am a little sad about is that soon I'm going to go on a trip for a few days. I'm going to be just totally off showdown for that. And my Elo is going to suffer so much for that. Just for me existing outside of Pokemon Showdown. Which is pretty frustrating. That I know I'm going to lose like at least 100 Elo. Probably more. Anyway, go for that. Okay. Huh. Go Giratina on Flareon. Let's go Incineroar, maybe. Uh, it still takes a lot from Flare Blitz. Although, this would be a minus one. Maybe, maybe it's not bad. Incineroar, then Giratina. So, you can bathe them into a facade, perhaps. And if not, Giratina is still a decent thing to have on the field. Okay, some flora comes out. Hmm. Let's go back into Incinera here. Yeah, okay, it's D Gleam, that's specs damage. And I can just click Flare Blitz here. Okay, bye, Sunflora. Unfortunately, it's also by Incineroar. But what can you do? Um, go back to Giratina. Ooh, I do not like you. Go for the Poltergeist. My own some floor as well, I just noticed. Okay, we get slept. We can go Sand Goose now. We can facade. Okay, they have a Dragapult though. It's a good opponent for Belly Bolt, I think. If we take Draco well, now I can launch off a powerful Thunderbolt into Venomoth. And let's slack off here. Yep. So we're still looking pretty decent here. Thunderous comes back out. What are you gonna do? I don't know what Thunderous is doing against the Belly Bolt because we kind of resist everything he has. 
They're gonna slack off here. They go for another nasty plot. Cause they really want to break the belly bolt. I've got a thunderbolt now. And what's the charge? This should kill. And we can go back into Giratina on the Flareon. They Flare Blitz does a ton of damage though. And they have left. I think they're defeated. Even though they still have Drag Bolt and something else. But I think that's going to be it for now. We should go up to about... Hmm, 23... 40... 30, 35, somewhere in there. After the Rage Quit. Which will put me around in here. Sort of between about uh, 68 to 60. Should be my new home. And that'll help. That's just that. The very anticlimactic Rage Quit. But. I guess we can go ahead, if you're still with me, thank you for watching. We go th 2 and 3, it's a, a rough episode. Been having a few rough episodes in a row here, but what can you do? But just try to push through. I'll see you next time. Bye.